Welcome to Igor Tech Channel. In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot common Windows 10 and 11 problems. Windows 10, 11, or any of its earlier versions are still prone to thousands of bugs and errors. All Windows users have gone through the frustrating process of finding system breaking bugs and errors, leading to either troubleshooting by themselves or getting outside help, which usually doesn't come free, or losing their files when unable to find a solution. Most issues on Windows can be fixed with some simple troubleshooting. Here is a simple troubleshooting guide for most minor errors you will likely face on Windows 10 or 11. Follow these steps depending on the issue and see if it fixes the problem. The easiest and most simple fix with an impressive success rate on minor errors and bugs is the old turn it off and on trick. This may seem too simple, and many users look over this simple solution, but there is a reason it remains the initial response for most troubleshooting experts because it does wonders. Now, this doesn't mean only restarting your PC. It can also be restarting the app causing an error. Closing an app completely and then restarting it can fix the issue. You can right click on the taskbar and select task manager. Once the task manager opens, locate the app facing the issue in the processes tab and right click on it. Select end task to shut it down completely. Now restart the app and see if the problem is fixed. This can also apply to hardware or network issues. Simply restarting a router can solve connection problems. Similarly you can reconnect USB flash drives or any peripheral device on other available ports when not connecting or working. Another easy way to self troubleshoot an issue on Windows is to search the error or bug on Google or any other search engine you may prefer. Thousands of dedicated troubleshooting websites will help you troubleshoot specific issues free of cost. You can also directly visit such websites, check for a specific error, and see the solutions. Many users are unaware that Windows 10 and 11 come with various built-in troubleshooters for helping the user fix issues. You can type troubleshoot in the Windows search bar and select the top result. Next click on additional troubleshooters to open the list of available troubleshooters. Simply match your issue with the available troubleshooters and run it. Windows will first check for the issue and then show you the info on what is causing it and whether you want Windows to apply a fix. By following the on-screen instructions, you can have the issue fixed in no time. Other than these troubleshooters, there are also diagnosing tools for memory corruption. Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool is one such example that you can check for memory related issues. Simply search Windows Memory Diagnostic on the Windows search bar and select the top result. Click on Restart now and let it do its work. System Restore Point is an amazing feature on Windows, which lets the user save the state of the PC that can be restored at a later point when the user is facing an issue. It lets you save the current state of your Windows so you can save the state when your PC is not facing any error or bug. This way, when you face an error in the future, you can simply restore the old system point and have the issue fixed as that issue didn't exist for that system point. To create a restore point, follow the steps. Type create a restore point in the Windows search bar and select the top result to create a system restore point. Click on the drive you want to save the state of and select configure. Select the turn on system protection button. Set the max usage slider as you prefer. This slider will allocate the maximum disk space for system protection. Click on apply and OK to save the changes. Now click on create to start the process of creating a restore point. Describe the save point you are creating for future reference, like point before installation of needed apps. Select create and it will create the save point. And to restore the system point, click on system restore from the same window. Click on next and choose the system point you want to restore. Here your earlier description will help in selecting the correct one. You can also sort by time. Now you can click on next and follow the on-screen instructions to finish the process. This covers how to troubleshoot common Windows 10 and 11 problems. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.